Hey what's going on guys, it's Prodigy here and today I'm going to be talking about the M8A7 Assault Rifle and the XR2 in Black Ops 3 because they're both burst weapons, they're both pretty popular, I see them a fairly equal amount of the time and I'm going to be seeing if I can break down exactly which one is better than the other if that is the case in each scenario. So I'm going to start the video off with some hard stats and just to give you a little perspective and then some things that I've seen in my experience using the weapons. So let's just get right into it. So starting off with the XR2. It is a uh, average assault rifle. The ADS time is 250 milliseconds, just like most other assault rifles. And the damage is 40 per bullet, which is actually pretty high. And that goes all the way out into 38 meters. And it is a three round burst assault rifle. So, of course, it's a three shot kill. So, it does have the potential to one burst kill people all the way out to 38 meters. And once you pass 38 meters, the damage drops to 30. So, it's either a three or four shot kill. So, that's not bad for an assault rifle. But moving on from that, the rate of fire is 857 rounds per minute, which is pretty fast. It's faster than the HVK. It's faster than all the other assault rifles, actually, except the M8A7. And the burst delay, however, is 200 milliseconds, which in my experience is actually pretty slow. You can notice it if you've used um, any burst weapons in previous Call of Duties, then you'll probably notice that it is a bit slower in between bursts when you shoot. So that's one of the things that kind of turned me off from the weapon at first, but after a while you kind of get used to it. And you can actually hold the trigger down and it will you shoot each burst as fast as it possibly can at exactly 200 milliseconds so that's good now onto the m8a7 which is often referred to as overpowered and i'm not going to say whether or not i think it is or not until the end of the video <laughs> but um starting with the damage it deals 30 damage all the way up to 38 meters and this is a four round burst assault rifle not a three so this also does have the potential to one burst kill people all the way out to 38 meters just like the xr2 and once you pass 38 meters the damage drops to 22 so it becomes a five shot kill so it's either a four or five shot kill which usually equals a one or two burst kill at most you know if you're obviously if you're missing shots then you'll probably go a little higher than that but that's all dependent on accuracy so now the rate of fire is where this really shines and the m8a7 has a rate of fire of 1000 rounds per minute it, they did actually buff the gun early on in the game and made it 1100 but then they nerfed it again and brought, brought it back to a thousand because it was just ridiculously fast and it was unnecessary they they shut that down real quick and the burst delay is slower than the XR2 or faster I should say than the XR2 at 166 milliseconds which you'll probably notice feels much more you know average much better and much more how a burst rifle should feel at least in my opinion I that's why I at first liked it better than the XR2 so with these hard facts I find that they're both very very good assault rifles the XR2 obviously a little bit higher on the damage end of course it is a three round burst as opposed to a four round burst like the M8 so Realistically speaking, the XR2 is more powerful, you know, if, especially if you're um, in a closer range, you know, it's a, it'll probably do a better job at one bursting people. However, one thing I did notice about using the XR2 is that the recoil is a little funny sometimes, like inconsistent, especially with the last shot. The last shot tends to kind of kick off to the side for some reason. I don't know, it just never, never really you know seems to be consistent and that's that was one of my main issues with the XR2 is that overall it did not feel like a very consistent assault rifle you know it felt like 
half the time I was melting people, one bursting them. Then all oh, the rest of the times it was I couldn't aim it right. I couldn't line up my shots correctly. The and it was it just it didn't feel right all the time. Times it felt great. Times it felt just plain bad. Like I it was a period I absolutely hated this gun. I refused to use it. But then I had to come back to it because I had to complete my diamond camo challenges. And I actually kind of grew to like it again a little bit, but still, it's very inconsistent, in my opinion. And the burst, the burst delay, and how slow it is, is also not helping its case any. Now, about the M8. Now, the M8A7 assault rifle is probably the easiest to use assault rifle in the entire game because the recoil is virtually non-existent, especially since it's a burst rifle. You know, it, and it's really much, much, much more consistent than the XR2 is and if even though it doesn't technically have more range than it it feels like it because the consistency is much more like it should be in a gun and not to mention the rate of fire being much faster well not technically much faster but it feels much faster and that makes a huge difference when firing burst weapons and obviously when you use burst weapons your main goal is to one burst kill people and because you can be a lot more accurate with the M8A7 it is a lot more easy to use and it is a lot more deadly as in most people's hands to be honest and this brings us to the next topic which is is the M8A7 overpowered like a lot of people seem to think and unfortunately I'm gonna have to kind of agree that it is overpowered because if you've used the M8A7 or if you've had the M8A7 used against you, which you probably have, then you might have had several frustrations as to how quickly you die from it. It is it is just insane sometimes the amount of one burst kills that you can get with the M8. And, and and at the ridiculous ranges too because and it is very easy to use like I said before it's very user friendly very quote unquote noob friendly and a lot of people really don't like the fact that it is just so easy to kill very easily with this gun and it has a very fast rate of fire the only thing that has a faster rate of fire than the M8 would be the 48 dredge and that's only by a small amount a 48 dredge has a I think a 1090 RPM if I'm not mistaken I have to double check that but it's, it's barely higher than the M8 and but whether or not the 48 dredge is overpowered is a completely different topic but we're gonna stick to assault rifles for right now and it is a very fast fire rate assault rifle and Actually, I, t I, I have a correction. The Vesper also has a faster fire rate at 1200 RPM. But even so, when you have assault rifles, you know, creeping up on fire rates like the Vesper, and especially with it being usable at much, much, much longer ranges, then it becomes a decision as to why is this able to do what this gun that specializes in close quarters combat is but from ridiculous ranges you know all across the board and it with high caliber especially good that you can use on the m8 then the one burst kills are plentiful so i mean when you have a gun that is so good in so many areas you know close range long range mid range you know great accuracy then it starts to become the question is if this is good at so many things, what is its weakness? And to be honest, I can't really think of any weaknesses that the M8 has. And if a gun doesn't really have a weakness, then that makes it overpowered. You know, like the, a lot of people think the Vesper is overpowered. But if you go against a Vesper at mid to long range, you're probably going to win that gunfight because it is very hard to control the Vesper at long range and its damage severely drops off at those ranges so if you're using any type of assault rifle LMG or even some SMGs then you're probably gonna outgun the Vesper so that is why I believe the M8 is overpowered I know we kinda segued off of the XR2 versus the M8A7 but even though the XR2 technically has more damage all the other factors that play into the equation just makes the M8 much, much better all across the board. 
and like I said before the gun has no weaknesses so therefore I believe it is overpowered it needs to have a weakness in order to be balanced and that's basically that in a nutshell you know what do you guys think do you guys think the M8 is overpowered I know if you go on any video on YouTube regarding the M8A7 you'll have people debating in the comment section as to whether or not the M8 is overpowered but what do you guys think do you guys think it's overpowered do you think it's fine the way it is let me know in the comments but for now that's all for this video guys this is Prodigy please don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video I really appreciate it but that's all for this video guys thanks for listening